number seven seed here this year up against the former All England champion and number four seed Lisi Jha of Malaysia. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw, what a beautiful sight that is. The eight quarter-finalists with eight different flags next to their names. Only the fourth time that that has happened in the Super Series or World Tour history, and that goes back to 2007. It happened previously here at the Denmark Open in 2010. The Malaysian Open 750 events of 2018, the first year of the World Tour. And it happened at the Indonesian Masters earlier this year. It is a real rarity and what a joy to see eight players from eight different nations. So obviously at semi-final stage, we also have four players from four different nations, but we only have two seeds, none in the bottom half of the draw. So we're guaranteed an unseeded player in tomorrow's men's singles final. Presenting from Singapore, Lo Kien Yu. The former world champion, Lo Kien Yu of Singapore. Malaysian born, but now representing Singapore. Only competing in his second ever Denmark Open last year, he lost in the very first round to a certain Victor Axelsen. From Malaysia. Lee who is Gia. now, of course, reigning world and Olympic champion. Axelsen went on to win the title. And here today, Lee Ken Ken Yu will play against Lee Si Jia, the All England champion from last year. Umpire. A very Australia. physical athlete. In fact, both of them are. Austria. are both very quick around the courts. And this, I can tell you, will be a seventh meeting between Lo Ken Yu and Li Si Jia. And of the previous six, Li Si Jia has won four of them, including the last two. Hello. Would you like to call black or red? You call. You call. Yes. He chooses black, you have red. Okay. It is black. You choose this side. So, that's quite clear. Lo Ken Yu won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends and wants to start the near side of the court, the more difficult end. And that's precisely what he did in his quarter-final against the world and Olympic champion. And defending champion here at the Denmark Open, Victor Axelsson. And he had an incredible win over Axelsson in just 30 minutes, but we'll come to that again in a short while. Last two meetings won by the Malaysian when these two players have met. The last time was a three-game match in the Indonesian Open earlier this year. 25 years of age and, as I was telling you, born in Malaysia on the island of Penang, the beautiful island. He's enjoying his third consecutive week in total at his career high of number five. And as I was telling you, this is only his second ever Denmark Open. A beat uh, Tamasin of Thailand in the first round, then uh, beat Kadambi Shrikans in a repeat of the 2021 World Championship final. And then in the quarter-final, disposed of Victor Axelsson. And look at that, 21-17, 21-10 in just 30 minutes. This is 24 years of age from Alostar in Kedah. And he, like his opponent, is currently playing off his career high, his fourth consecutive week at number three on the world ranking. Making his third appearance at the Denmark Open, his first semi-final. So now he's had a more difficult route through to the semi-final today. Uh, two games against Kalyo and then uh, Suniyama in the first two rounds. And then the quarter-final in a repeat of the Asian Championships from earlier this year with Jonathan Christie in three games. That was an excellent quarter final. I really enjoyed that match between Lee and Christie.
So our umpire for this one is Jeetan Bat from Australia. And our service judge, Sara Shahosani of Austria. Well, both of these players looking for a third final of the year. Look in you, he's been beaten in his two finals. That was in India, the Super 500 event, and also lost in the final of the Southeast Asian Games in Hanoi, losing out to Widisan in the final. Whereas Lee Sija, he's won his two finals so far this year, the Badminton Asia Championships and also the Thailand Super 500 Ladies event. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lo Chin Yu, Singapore. And on my left, Li Zijia, Malaysia. Li Zijia to serve, love all, play. So the Asian champion and former All England champion. We see Shah far side of the court against the former world champion, Lokin Yu. Well, yesterday, I think I said on commentary One that I thought Lokin Yu was showing the sort of form that took him to the world title. And I think that's the first time that I've seen him play with that sort of speed and intensity since his world championship gold. Look at that net shot, that's just phenomenal. Lift. Oh. Right, that second one goes long, hitting with the drift, remember. Service over, one, two. Singaporean coach here, who I think is Lo Wei Sheng. Certainly not his usual coach, Kelvin Ho. playing conditions here at the Denmark Open. And I think that suits Lokin Yu. Probably suits Lee Sin as well, so hopefully we'll have a terrific match. Service over, two, four. Nice idea, wrong execution in the C sharp. Five, two. a little bit nervous to me. Six, two. Of course, all the men's singles players in today's semi-finals will see this as a, a great opportunity. And because the outstanding player of the year, Victor Axelson, who beat him yesterday. Seven, two.
Yeah. Service over three seven. Got a very, very potent smash. Four, seven. Great power and often great placement too. Not to mention the angle. The steepness of shot as well. That's well left. Right back in this. Five. Seven. Service over eight five. Oh, what a net shot. Oh, <laughs> well, the little look at each other, both smiled because C.C. Jar didn't think his Six, opponent was going to get eight. this net call back. He got it back, but it was just wide of the mark. Nice moment between the two men. Oh, yes, good luck. Lovely block from Lisey Sharp. Seven, eight. Oh, that's wild. And back level. And Lee has done extremely eight. well here. Six of the last seven points. From two seven adrift to eight all. Yeah, nicely done. Well, Oka New is making a little bit of history today because I believe that he is the first player representing Singapore ever to contest a Denmark Open semi-final, and that's across any discipline. Missed it. Service over, nine ball. Perfect. Perfect shot. Absolute precision from Lee Zijar. Look at this. Hits the top of the tape and just crawls over. Oh, yeah. On the top of the tumble, hit the top of the net. So who's going to have the advantage at the mid-game interval? former world champion. Clearly wide. 
advantage, albeit just one point, to Loken Yu. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Yeah. Eleven ten. Play. That was a good flick serve. Won the world title in Huelva last December. No can you. He's playing faster badminton than even Anton Sinis or Kiginting. And that really is saying something. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, it's got it back. Oh. Called a fault. He didn't seem to be anywhere near the net. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, the crowd don't like it either. I think we'll probably need to see this from the net cam. Here we go. Here we go. 14, 12. Oof. Difficult to tell. Judgment call. Very, very close. No, he's accepted 15, it. No big arguments. It's a, a wonderful, always displays wonderful sportsmanship. Look in you. He's a real credit to himself and to his country. Fifteen. Oh. Oh, it's too long of the back line. Service over. Sixteen. Thirteen. First slice straight drop from Lo Ken Yu doing the damage and played with such disguise. 14, 16. Yeah. Lucy Jar even having to lunge on the left leg rather than the right leg. So deceived by it. Fifteen, 
16. Was that nervous? Service over. 17. Not sure. 15. Oh, well taken. My goodness me. He's absolutely pouncing on anything he possibly can. 17. On the front of the court. Look at that. He just hovers. He's got such powerful legs that he can just spring forward. Oh, wrong choice of shot from Low King New. Over 18 16. Oh! Yeah, no advantage gained whatsoever with the flick serve from Lee C. Sharp. Service over 17 18. Nice. Oh, that had a little think about coming over. 18 all. Costly. That to me is an unforced error from Lowe. Okay, thank you. Let's go, Lowe! Let's go! Let's go, Lowe! Let's go! Let's go, Lowe! Let's go! 19 18. Oh, my goodness. You can't leave it that late to decide to play it. 20, and two game-point point opportunities 18. now to the former All England champion and the reigning Asian champion, Lucy Sharp. Oh, but it was life on the court. Going long, opening game to the Asian champion, Lee Zizha of Malaysia. 21-18 in an excellent opening game, lasting 17 minutes. This is the final rally of the opening game. Look at the way he lunges forward, racket arm outstretched. And the problems controlling the lifts from this near side of the court exposed in that final rally. 21-18, opening game to Lee Zizha in 17 minutes.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. So the Asian champion Li Zhao one game to the good against the former world champion Ho Ken Yu immediately apologizes for hitting his opponent. I have to say, this match so far being played in great spirit. Opening game and still couldn't convert. No, can you? Oh, that's a good return of serve. Tight, tight spinning net shot from Lucy Jart. Service over, one, three. his feet were he's out the back of the court when he played that but i think the shuttle would have landed in he was right to play it but he wanted to hit into the shuttle get behind it so he had the options of where he was going to play it oh, that's well wide Service over, three, four. It's a big miss. Five, four. He'd worked the rally well. Right. Next shot again, forcing the lift. That's not even close. Oh, yes. It wasn't high enough to get over the head of Lucy Sharp. Four. Four. 
Well, six of the last seven points because he was love three down. The court mocked from where his hands went down. That was clearly wide. No, can you show me? And this is a very, very good spell by E.C. Sharp. in the back of the court, no, can you? Not pushing the Malaysian to the back at all. Here we go. It's the first time in the rally. Back to the net again. And then a smash. And I think, no, can you? I know he doesn't want to allow Lee C. Jart free reign at attacking. But I think he needs to use the back of the court more. I think he needs to move the Malaysian. That's a beautiful block, isn't it? What a super shot from Lee Si Jart. Desired, but it was the hold and push towards the back of the court. This Seven, one eight. that caused the problems for Lee C. Jacques. Well, that just emphasizes the point I was making a moment ago. We can use the back of the court more, push the Malaysian back, and then bring him forward. That's too far to the side. Seven, okay for length. Nine, seven. Take off the top of the tape. Over. You can immediately Eight, hear him saying sorry. Well, that was brilliant. Wonderfully taken. Oh, that's superb from the Malaysian. What beautiful touch. Service over. Ten. Eight. Oh, you don't get better than that. Look at that. Wonderful. Missed it. So it is a three point advantage here in the second game to the Malaysian. 
had a deficit in the opening game and still managed to win. three-point advantage on the resumption of play. Make that four-point advantage now to the number four seed, DC Sharp. 12-8. Right. Oh, that's landed in. That's a misjudgment from Loken Yu. Side edge of the line if I had to make a call. Good retrieving. Just get the sense. In fact, Loken Yu just uh, moving his arms towards the floor as if to say, calm down, calm down. Uh, because I was just getting the sense that he was beginning to lose his way a little. On the back line. Desperately needs to close down this gap if he wants to extend this semi final to a third game. And that's a gift as far as Cook and you is concerned. 12 14.
Another one finds the line. Well, well, well. Lo Ken Yu is making his move. Five straight points to get back level. 14 all. Oh, yes, that's a lovely cross court smash from this HR. Service over, 15 Look at his movement. And then the final cross court smash, it was almost a rebound action of that racket head. Kind of a real follow through. Watch the racket head here. 14. Look at that. Yeah. Clipping it down, but clipping it down with power. Lovely play. Sixteen fourteen. Oh, that is magnificent. Oh, well, there's a challenge here. I don't think Lo Ken Yu will win this challenge. Take a look at this. No, that's clearly an inside edge of the line. I'm pretty certain. I think this is the first challenge of the match. Yeah, there we go. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 17, 14. Well, I have to say, the Cijar has responded extremely well after five straight points from his opponent, Oh, can you? And caught back up to 14 all. Now the Cijar is pulling away again. Good work done by Lo Ken Yu to catch back up 14. from that five-point deficit. It's all been undone. Lo Ken Yu showing where? Thank you. So three points away, Lucy Jarp from the third final of the year. Brilliant. Well, I can you very popular here in Denmark because he trains with Victor Axelsson in Dubai. Not full time, but goes on training since. He's been here for a week. As indeed as Lucy Jaffe. They both came a week early and it's both paid dividends for both of them. Service over match point opportunities for the Asian champion Lucy Jar of Malaysia. Now I wonder if he cracked his racket actually in that last rally. Thank you. 
five match point opportunities. Only needed the one. What a wonderful performance by the Asian champion, Lee Zijia, beating the former world champion, Lo Ken Yu, in two straight games. 21-18, 21-15, the margin of his victory. And he will contest his first ever Denmark Open final tomorrow. Just under 40 minutes for his victory. Very impressive indeed. By Lee Zijia. In control. Pretty much the majority of the second game. So confirmation once again of the scoreline 21-18, 21-15 in 39 minutes. And Lee Zijia tomorrow will contest his third final of the year. Welcome back to Odense. Nine semi-finals have been completed, just one more to come. And it's the second men's singles at this Denmark Open, the Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. It's an all unseeded men's singles semi-final. Shi Uchi from China up against Kodai Naraoka of 